Assalam o Alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We'll be just talking about in details The calculation power materials And PCC concrete work right And this is quite simple I think And this topic is of course Much important for quantity surveyors right Actually uh, material means Just the binding material Plus the pine and coarse aggregate and of course the water because these guys just make the PCC right so in this section you will just learn binding material calculation pine and coarse aggregate calculation and of course the water quantity per PCC work here in this section I, of course I will not explain the water calculation because I have already uploaded a nice video in the same channel right just the name is of course uh, I can't remember right now and of course the name is just water calculation per concrete mix yeah of course this is the name alright so uh, I'll just discuss in detail these guys binding material like a cement pine and coarse aggregate like sand and crust stone right just keep watching before starting the calculation let's just spend a little time with PCC work right and of course PCC is all over surrounding us in any place of course in palm of these guys like in palm up column slab roads and something stretch but how can we calculate these materials just in these mix right and this is of course a nice question I think so suppose you have just a PCC work having length, breadth or height it means when you have these guys it means you have just the volume right and you want to calculate materials just uh, like cement, sand and crust stone like you can call these guys binder pine and coarse aggregates right the pine terms just goes per sand and the coarse terms just goes per crust stone right and these are just aggregates now what if I want to calculate binder or cement of course if I want to calculate pine aggregate or sand how can I yeah I have a nice formula over here right and this is of course the ratio of material divided by sum of ratio times the dry volume what does this formula means of course the material means over here that material which you want to find like a cement sand or crust stone right and uh, of course the ratio of material is right straight forward just the ratio of that material like let me just spend a little time over here in the ratio say we have a ratio of concrete right 1 to 4 of course the 1 represent the ratio of cement the 2 is just per course pine aggregate sorry are just per sand and the four is of course just per coarse aggregate or crust stone now just look at the formula over here the ratio of material means if I want to calculate cement I'll just plug one over here in this formula if I need to calculate crust stone I'll just plug the four in this formula I hope you are understanding right and of course uh, the sum up ratio is of course the summation of these three guys right 1 plus 2 plus 4 and of course the dry volume is just the wet volume times 1.54 so you learnt a formula right now I'm just ready to do a little example a few examples right and this is of course the first example this is just a PCC slab or PCC work no problem the dimensions are given right and we are asked to find cement, sand and crust stone in the given PCC work. Of course the ratio is also given right? 1 to 4. Yeah. So all things are given. Everybody okay. I'll just come straight into solutions. And the solution, my formula is a nice right? Material that I want to calculate will be equal to the ratio of material divided by sum of ratio times dry volume. And this is the same formula we just explained a few minutes ago, right? Say I just need to calculate cement first, right? So I'll just plug and chug in in this formula 
the ratio of material it means the ratio of cement just look at your hair in the example terms the ratio of material is just one right because the one just represents uh, or the one means it is just the ratio of cement right so i'll plug one over here in this palm divided by sum up ratio whereas sum up ratio of course this is just the summation of these three guys let me just spend a little time over here we have ratio one to four the summation will be just seven right so divided by seven times the dry volume where is dry volume of course it's just the wet volume times 1.54 we don't have wet volume just let's do this guy over here right the dry volume is always wet volume times 1.54 of course we need the wet volume so it's just the multiplication of the three guys right because it, it is just uh, like a rectangular prism right in the volume of a rectangular prism is just the multiplication of its three sides like length brand times the thickness right actually volume is just cross section area times length here i uh, just look at our hair 12 times uh, this thickness it is just a cross section area right times 20 which is length this makes this guy is volume so we have what volume equals 120 cft or cubic feet now we can find dry volume right it is just 120 times 1.54 so we get 184.8 cft i'll just plug this guy over here in this equation all right do let the mathematics with this guy you must get 26.4 cft so we have 26.4 cft cement but remember the quantity of cement is always taken in bags right because it is just a, a unknown thing right so I'll convert this guy into bags. Remember, I'll just divide this volume by 1.25 because this is just uh, the volume of one cement bag in CFT, right? In cubic meter, you have 0 0.035 cubic meter, just the volume of one cement bag. All right? Equals, when you divide this guy by this one, you must get 21 bags. Alright, and this was just our first approach. My next approach will be just send our course pine aggregate, right? So I'll say send equals actually pass per send calculation. You can use the same formula, right? In ratio of material, you'll just pull plug this guy two, only two. The formula will be the same. But I have a short form over here. Look at this ratio, right? In the ratio. The quantity of sand is just two times of the cement, right? One plus two plus four means, right? If, if we have one cement, all right? And I just look at our hair, the pine aggregate is just two times of cement. And the power represent that the coarse aggregate is just four times of this binding material. Or the coarse aggregate is just two times of this pine aggregate. Does it make sense? Yeah, of course. So if I want to calculate send, I'll just multiply 2 with this 26.4 because 26.4 is just the quantity of cement. Right? You must get 52.8 CFT. But here in Pakistan, uh, maybe in other countries too, right? We use the term circular. So I, I can also convert this guy into circular. When you divide this guy by 100 because one circular equals 100 cft right and of course the badgery are uh, the crushed stone or the coarse segregate right we use badgery terms over here in pakistan right and of course uh, the crushed stone is very famous and the technical term is of course coarse segregate so badgery is just four times of this cement right or it is just two times a pine aggregate so i'll just say 26.4 which is cement times 4 which is the ratio of budgery or stone equals 105.6 cft yeah it, it's it's good divided by 100 to convert this guy into say class 
So these guys are just our approach in this example first. I think I should do another example, right, for better understanding. So here we go. The example second is just, uh, yeah, yeah, we are just asked to calculate Castron only. Yeah, and this is quite short poem. And this will be uh, really interesting, I think. If you need the Castron only from CCC work, right? And of course, the volume is 500 CFT. It means the PCC work is just 500 CFT, right? This is just the volume. The ratio is, of course, 1 to 4. Sorry, it's, it's 136, right? Uh, I just changed this guy over here because 1 to 4 is just used in the uh, past or previous uh, just example, right? It's quite simple, no problem. So everybody okay and uh, all things are given, I'll come straight into solutions. And the same formula will be used, right? I'm not explaining this formula over here because I have already explained this guy. And our approach is just cross tone, right? Our budgery, our core segregate. And the formula, the ratio of material is just look at over here. This is six, right? This is six, of course divided by sum up ratio, look at our hair. We have 136, its summation will be just 10, yeah, so divided by 10. Trans the dry volume, let me calculate this guy over here a little bit, right? Of course, the wet volume is given, right? And the dry volume is, of course, wet volume times 1.54. So, plug and chug in, you must get, of course, the dry volume equals the wet volume is just 500 CFT. This is given, right? So 500 times 1.54. You must get, right? 770 CFT. This is just a dry volume of material. So plug this guy over here in this equation. You must get 462 CFT. Yeah, of course. So the budgery is just 462 divided by 100 to convert this guy into seclas, right? I'm not sure the spelling of seclas is okay or not. Or this is English word or not. And just don't challenge me right over here, right? So, uh, and of course, uh, the 100 CFT is just one secla, yeah. And our approach is done, right? So, it's dead. And uh, nothing is left, I think. All right. If you have a question, just type in comment, right? And thank you for watching. See you next time. And what? Nothing. Wassalam.